go for it, huh? Let's see what happens here. Oh, it cuts. <laughs> yep. Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So, this video we have a, uh, what I'm going to call a honeydew job. And we're going to use the electronic uh, helical indexer on the milling machine. And we're going to make a cutting tool to do this particular job. So, uh, stay tuned. I think you'll like it. So now we can uh, do our flutes on our honeydew drill here. Okay, put it like that. We're going to use a tailstock here. I'm just going to bring this up. It, we're, we're not doing uh, hyper accurate stuff here, so um, I'm not going to sweat too much, too many bullets here. position here. Actually, I'll be back there, I think. Yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to set the, uh, the end of the tool. Right there, so I got a depth. Okay. And we'll come back to our starting position on the DRO and then we're going to go set the uh, uh, the electronic indexer. We're going to set the uh, the buildexer, that's what I'm calling this. Uh, we're going to initialize it here. Let's turn it on. Bring it back, bring it to life. And then uh, we have to set the move angle, which in this case, because we're doing a two flute drill, is 180 degrees. And then we have to set the, the ratio uh, that determines the helix lead, okay? So right now we're set, uh, it's actually set uh, for the correct number on this, 
this little thumb switch here for the move angle. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that and it changed color so I know, uh, I know it did something. And now I'm going to change it to the, uh, the proper number for the lead, which we are going to use a 5 inch lead uh, for our honeydew drill. And that is a setting of 819. Um, so let's do this and get my hand out of the way. And then 819. And that's that. Okay, and see so it changed color. Okay, and then we'll go. Uh, now I'm going to go back over to the, uh, the blank, and you can see um, what these settings translate onto uh, on the uh, indexer looks like. Let's first look at the uh, the lead, which is the rotation in relation to the, the travel here. And there you can see that's our lead. Okay. Very cool. All right, let's back to the start again. You see it just reverses. All right, so I'll get my starting position right there. And let's just say we cut one of the flutes. Uh, now I want to do a... Uh, um, oh, an index, 180 degree index. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Zzz, and there she goes. And that's 180 degrees. Okay. And I always like to start on the zero here, so I'm just going to bring it around again to my zero starting point here. Oops, I didn't set it very well, did I, Mr. Wizard? Um, actually, you know what? I can I can tweak that. Because I like to be able to put the shot pin in there. I can disconnect the encoder for a second. There we go. So that's that's a good starting place there. That's where I want to be. Okay. And so it just gives me a reference if I get lost or <laughs> do a bozo or something like that. So guess what? We're ready to cut some flutes on the honeydew drill. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this thing. So I'm, I'm using a kind of a low cutting speed there. Uh, let's take a 50 thousandths uh, depth of cut here, something like that. And I'm just using, a, this is this uh, like Dawn soap with water. It works real good for uh, um, things like acrylic. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna double check, make sure I didn't uh, do something dumb here. All right, that's nice and tight. All right, let's see what happens. There it goes. And we are helixing. Now this is actually cutting pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure out a stopping number. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to bring it up out of the cut. To reverse it back. Okay, and then take the backlash out. All right, let's go down to down to 100. Actually, that cut pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, full oinker here. Feels okay to me. So I think I'm going to fully cut one flute and then index uh, index to the, the second flute. Okay. And then you guys get the visual. Look at that. <laughs> Just got a clear drill bit. <laughs> I do.
finished cut on this particular flute. Looks like a drill bit, doesn't it? Wouldn't you say? So normally what you would do in this situation is you would relieve behind the cutting edge. You see how this has a land on it and then it's relieved behind that and this keeps it from binding in the hole. But the uh, material that we're cutting with this probably not going to make any difference. And frankly, I'm, uh, I'm kind of anxious to try it <laughs> as probably you guys are too. So let's... Uh, um, I'm going to pop this out of here and I'm going to go over to the uh, uh, belt sander and I'm going to put a cutting edge on the on the tip here and uh, let's get to this uh, honeydew drilling. We're going to sharpen this uh, <laughs> our, uh, our honeydew drill here on uh, this belt sander here uh, because I have speed control here. I can run it pretty slowly. Um, and uh, I don't get so much of a melty cut. And then, um, and then for sharpening large drill bits, it's really nice to have a kind of a wide platen uh, to work with there. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, adjust the tracking a little bit. Pretty good. And a lot of you guys that know me uh, know that I sharpen drill kind of backwards from uh, the rest of the universe, right? And um, <laughs> so some people are probably going, what the heck is he doing there? But it works for me. That's how I taught myself. And uh, Okay. Yeah, you 
you see how melty that gets there? This salt might be a little fine for this, but let's, uh, let's try lighter pressure. Okay, it's starting to look like it'll cut. Still don't like the, uh, Really good, man. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I got my relief. I'm almost to the front edge there. Pretty close. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I think that'll work. Alright. What do you say we go drill something? Well, this is our test subject. And here's our tool that we made. So the question is, will it blend? Or will it cut? Let's check it out. <laughs> All right. So, in, shall we do a uh, a polar or equatorial uh, cut? Actually, we're going to do both. So, that's actually the the stem end. Um, let's just go for it, huh? Let's see what happens here. Oh, it cuts. <laughs> yep. Mmm, <laughs> actually smells good. Uh, equatorial cut, anyone? <laughs> well, I think it works. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see. the old shop knife here. What do I want to do here? Okay, look at that, intersecting holes. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>